What are you doing? Filming in progress. Hey out there, it's Chris Straub from Straub Technologies. All the time we're getting phone calls about why cylinder heads and doing cylinder head work takes so much money and why it's so expensive. So I'm just gonna give you a little tour, Big Mike and I are, on what it takes and what we do to a cylinder head when it comes into Straub Technologies. Here we've got one of our 18 degree mayhems. So this will be a good example of after this head is out of the box, what we have to do. So Mike, we'll roll this head over. Yes, yeah, sir. And this is Cully, or QC, as we say. So the guys will take their instrumentation. Hold on a second. You, you said QC? QC. In the yeah. 21st century? Yes, it's called quality control. We okay. We do that at Strop Technologies. That's not a foreign language or a foreign word in our vocabulary. <laughs> Amen. So the boys will check out the valve guide clearance and the seats. Uh, made, uh, we will Brunel test the head uh, about every 20th head to check them and stuff. So once we know that with the guides have got to be reamed, then we go over here to our reaming station. Put the head on the cart, move over here to the reaming station. So this is a little more than a brush on a drill with some WD-40? Yeah, we don't, uh, we've got cordless drills here, but we don't use them except for uh, uh, moving uh, these reams and stuff on this thing. So these reams are set in tenth of diameters. So we actually have uh, these carbide reams will ream the cylinder head. So we may use three or four reams. Well, these things are $250 a piece, okay? For those that bought this honing station brand new, this thing was probably around five grand. Uh, just used, this thing cost me about $2,500. So by the time you put all the tooling and everything else here for what we need to do on a cylinder head, you can literally have $10,000 wrapped up in machine and equipment. To just simply QA to, the to guides. Simply, yeah, exactly. To get the valve guide to size in the cylinder head. Yes, sir. Once we've done this, we'll bring the head back over here and we'll see as far as the valves that we're going to be using. So we'll set this up in the fixture as far as the valve itself and what head diameter. We'll set the tooling as far as for the machine using one of these, and that's all set in a, in a fixture from Rottler. And then we will actually fixture the head in this machine. We will, sit, we will do the first intake and first exhaust. We then punch in the numbers of where we are on seat depth, and then the manual matic from Rottler will repeat that over the cylinder head. That ensures that we get the seat depth on both exhaust and intake done on every cylinder head. We have two of these machines. This is our R&D machine, and then we have our production machine over here. So once the head is done here, so we've got the guides ring to size, we've got the uh, seats tool formed as far as the cutters go. And let's, for those that don't know, here's all the little cutters that we use as far as our profiles and stuff go. So those are 70 to $80 a piece, okay? We'll get probably about eight sets of heads done and then we've got to replace that and then if the guys are having a bad day i mean they may break two or three of them so we're out 230 dollars before the, even the cutter gets out of here so we don't like talking about bad days here at strop tech we talk about good days nice so we take the head back over here to our surfacer oh we need to show them, as far as the sunning gauge and as far as valve guides, we would have used this during the reaming. So this ensures that we get the proper depth and stuff. Just right here, what you're looking at with the mandrels, the gauge and everything else, this checking fixture is about $3,500. So this is our S86 Rottler. It's a fully automated. The cool thing about this machine is with this, it's you basically program the machine as far as how much you're cutting off the head. You would fixture the cylinder head on here. You'd make a test pass across, not cutting anything. Be sure everything's good and level. You would go ahead and program the machine. You'd lift the gate up for OSHA, and after that, you're making chips. Nice. So that's machine, done on a head out of the box. That's done on a head. We do. We surface every cylinder head here. Very we good. do not take in because anything we get in, whether it's a U.S. casting or a uh, import casting, they're all both. So yes. this ensures the customer is getting a flat cylinder head when it comes to Straub Technologies. So once we've done this on the surfacer, 
Now we're ready for a little cleaning. Should have picked a smaller car, shouldn't I, Mike? <laughs> Alright. Well, you got a big head on there. That's our baby that may have 18 so then we come degrees. Over here to our axe machine. And this is basically no more than a glorified uh, washing machine that your mom would uh, wash the dishes in. So we have a special <coughs> chemical that we buy from uh, Silver Seal. And uh, it's EPA approved. And it's actually called Lumabrite. And it will keep the aluminum nice and shiny. So the head goes in here on this little rotating carousel. We've got different fixed string. We'll stand the cylinder heads up. And then this will come out at 183 degree water through those jets. And we usually leave it in here for about 15 minutes on the jet wash system. Hot water. Hot, hot water. Nothing different than your uh, dishwasher at home. But then we bring the head back over to where we originally stationed at the QC department. And we'll place that head in, in the forks and then with a pneumatic spring compressor, uh, the guys will go gather the parts, what's ever used for this head, and then assemble this head. Uh, we tape it up. We use. Uh, Blue painter's tape, we take all the deck surfaces, any of the machine surfaces, saves the customer from any nicks or dents. So, when you ask next time, why is it so expensive, the machine says cylinder heads, now you know. It's the cost of the equipment, cost of the tooling, cost of uh, the labor. So, right here, without tooling, you're looking at $70,000. That surfacer I just showed you, you're looking at $85,000. That axe machine right there, you're looking at $30,000. So your $1,800 set of heads, it took a tech making $70,000 a year and almost $250,000 with equipment and tooling to finish your cylinder heads. Nice.